top right is the bidirectional. I was on a waiting list for George Power's very limited single directional metering program. They opened up initially, I said, with two and a half megawatts statewide. They reopened it in May of 2010 for another two and a half megawatts. And because that's the list I was on, I, it opened one morning and closed that afternoon that I got in. So instead of getting their avoided cost of 5.6 cents a kilowatt hour, I have a PPA with them, a power purchase agreement, that pays me 17 cents a kilowatt hour, which helps, helps make my work. Uh, the bottom left is the inverter. The one next to that is the guts of the inverter. And above that is the monitor. That's how I get the information from my phone. The bottom right is my single directional meter on the right. That's where my solar power comes from. I've got a line coming down to the roof in conduit because into that meter, everything that I produce goes straight into the grid and George Power turns around and sells that as green energy. So they can buy lots of green power. The meter on the left is coming from them, um, and that's their usual dirty stuff. I had some ethical issues doing it this way, but um, with the money talk. The alternative is if you have bi-directional metering, which is standard, and yet anybody can get that with or without a PTA, they will pay you 5.6 cents per kilowatt hour for any surplus that you put into the grid. And the good news is the higher rates get, the more sense it makes to do this whether or not you get a PTA with George Power or, or your EMC or whoever you're with, because you use whatever you produce first, which essentially is going to be at par. So um, either way makes sense. The more solar you can generate, great. It, it doesn't, it, it, under today's system, it doesn't do, make a whole lot of sense to generate a whole lot more than you're using because they're paying you a fraction of what it's worth. 